This is a kit review. Um, it's the SDKFZ 7-2, 3.7 centimeter, flag 36. Um, I want to start off by saying that, uh, excuse me if there is something, you know, some mishap during this this review, but I am experimenting with a new format and I'm trying to make it work. So this is, uh, I think, more practical for me and for you guys. You can actually see um, this bruise uh, much better this way. So forgive me if uh, anything goes wrong during the, the filming of this uh, review. Uh, anyway, um, I wanted to uh, review this um, kit because um, it was a gift from a good friend, good friend of mine. And uh, once I opened the box, I was wow. I mean, I I loved the detail in this kit. is um, nothing short of amazing. From you know, it's a uh, it's the perfect kit to build out of the box if you wish to. Um, in my view, it doesn't really need you know extra you know, stuff. Of course, if you want to hyper detail this, then I think this is a perfect base for, for that. But anyway, just as is, uh, it's a wonderful kit and I can't wait to build them. Uh, build them. So um, uh, let's uh, take a look inside this box. So here's the kit. Um, so very nice uh, box art on top. Uh, it says it's got um, about you know over 550 parts, which I believe. But you know, mostly there will be the tracks as well as always. And then uh, of course it's very detailed, but I don't think it will be you know that overwhelming. Then you got the box sides. So as usual, uh, dragon, cat or uh, 3D um, solid works or something like that uh, drawings, as well as in the bottom of the box. Then you have on the side of the box, the kit number, a name and illustration again. Uh, on the other side, you have the three di different versions that you can build with this, with this kit. Um, this is a, a 2011 um, kit, um, so it should be pretty recent pretty good uh, you know it's it's a dragon so you know of course it's going to be a little bit over engineered but extremely detailed and interesting as usual I think you know, the biggest complaint for us is always the instructions but maybe I'll, I'll be surprised with this kit and we shall see so uh, take, let's take a look at um, inside the, the box So as usual, we've got the the wonderful gift card, so to speak, from from Dragon. Um, I'd like to point out that it's got you know magic tracks uh, with two different components. I've never built a vehicle with this type of track, so I don't really know much about them. They're of course very well detailed. They don't see. Oh yeah, they do have a ejector. No, two ejector pin marks on this part. Very easy. To to clean up because it's all in the flat, the flat portion of it. But still, it's, it's there, and maybe it's not even going to be visible. But you know, just in case, it'd be nice to clean them up. So that will be fun. Uh, clear parts. Uh, so th these include the windshields and lenses. Um, let me show you guys. Let's see if I can catch exactly. That. So windshield and lenses, um, masks for the windshields, which is a very nice addition. Way to go, Dragon. Uh, photo edge screens um, and some anti-skid texture or something like that. And uh, windshield wipers on this photo edge as well. You can see it like. So very nice. I love the mesh. The mesh uh, looks wonderful. It's very good. And then we have decals. The general, you know, the typical do-it-yourself general kind of decals, so that you can build your own. Oh, sorry guys, you can build your own version. I think they're lovely. And DS. Tires, which 
also seem very interesting. Then we have the instructions. Sorry guys, this won't fit complete on the camera. But, you know, typical Dragon instructions, very simple. Uh, simply starts with the chassis and suspension, then goes to the engine, which seems to be fairly detailed. Then road wheels, part of the under, uh, part of the trailer. I don't, I don't know what's what's that. Then track road wheels, hood, front of the truck. And back, lower part of the truck, tracks, and finally we get to the gun, and then the assembly of the complete gun on top of the of the truck, and finally the pending in markings guide, with the three versions, and these are um, infantry division Gross Deutschland. Ukraine 1942, um, unidentified unit, Eastern Front 1943, Unident unidentified unit, Luftwaffe, Western Front 1944. So, of course, as usual, a bundle of parts that you're not going to use are furnished with this kit, but this is not even one of the worst. Uh, ones for in that regard, so I, I think it's it's just you know, it's fine. So that's that for the instructions, and now for the kit parts. So, no, it strikes me that for a reasonably simple model with about I don't know, this was what? Let me see. 13 steps. Is that it? No, more. 17 steps, yeah, 17 steps. For a vehicle with 17 steps, and um, what should be around about, I don't know, 300 parts, this kit seems to have a ton of plastic. Uh, anyway, it's extremely well detailed, and uh, I will open these bags. I think it's quite worth opening these bags and trying to show, try and show you. How nice they are. I truly intend to build this kit, so there's nothing wrong with that. Wow. <laughs> wow. Here I am already salivating. So I don't know if um, the camera's going to pick this up, but instead of me lifting it up, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to try to zoom in. See if you guys can pick this up. Sorry if this takes a bit. Let's do it like that. So uh, I'd like to call your attention to uh, this part here, which is the front grille. It's awesome. Uh, I think it's really, really nice. It really shows. You know, I'm still trying. I'm still trying and. Make it easier for the camera to pick it, pick it up. Come on, focus. Yeah. Let's see. All right. Now that's it. Yeah. So I love the detail on this. You can actually read uh, the uh, what's this? Kaus. Sorry, guys. Let me just read this. House Waffen on the on the grill, the front grill, and of course every little uh, detailed part is simply astonishing. I, I I do commend Dragon for the amount of detail. Uh, the engine halves awesome as well. Uh, this uh, just. Um, the wheel, the driving wheel, and of course the 
fan, the cooling fan, I don't know if that's, yeah, that's the engine cooling fan. Um, these are the, the side parts for the hood. So it's, oh, it's beautifully molded. Beautiful. This is going to really pick up a wash and look wonderful. So that's it for this sprue. This is uh, part of the chassis running gear for the for the tracks. Wonderful detail once again. Wonderful, wonderful detail. So I'm going to back this out. It's not really working. I'm sorry, guys. Like I told you, this is a new format for me, so it's going to it's bound to have some problems. And so, like I said. It's got amazing detail. There's nothing new there, but it's uh, it's amazing. Uh, I will call your attention to this awesome spring and its detail. It's just just fantastic. Of course, there's more. Let me see. It's got some beautiful cast texture. I'm not sure the camera's going to pick this one up, but it's got some awesome texture here. Once more, wonderful detail on this part here. So, you know, engine components, it's also got the exhaust. Pipe, so it's you know, transmission, I think, or gearbox, probably. One of the two. It's it's nothing short of amazing. The detail on this kit is just astonishing. Really happy to to own this kit. Ooh, thanks. <laughs> My good friend Ugu Fromanch has gifted this to me, and wow, Ugu. What a kit. So, let's see. So it's got three spurs. So it's the, sorry guys. It's the base part of the gun. Um, Although I'm not going to use this because it's the truck. <laughs> the mold on this is simply amazing. This is simply amazing. I don't even know where to start. Okay, so let's start with this one here. So check out this detail here. Something else and I don't know, there's, there's so many awesome, awesome parts. Amazing gun components. This is probably the, the assembly for the breech and barrel here. Very well detailed. Also this part here, check out these indentations and ge like gear-like half wheel or something like that. Of course, the barrel is slide molded. You can see here. Sorry guys. Here it's slide molded. Let's turn this around so you can see it better. Slide molded. You see that, Tamiya? That's what you gotta do, okay? Here, did it on a Nash on, so keep on doing it. Side of the gun, just amazing. You know, this is one part off of the other of amazingness. Completely beautiful work by Dragon. I gotta admit. Of course, I'm not. This is you gotta. You guys have to take this with a grain of salt because I haven't assembled it. It's how it looks in the sprues that I'm, I'm relating to. 
So uh, we shall see once I start building it and, you know, what kind of trouble I'm, I'm, I'm going to get into. But, you know, for now, it seems to be nothing short of amazing as a kit. It's worth every penny. If you like this vehicle, get this kit. It's... Uh, I have... Wow. And, you know, most of these parts are really delicate. Really, really delicate. Like these, for example. These are really delicate. Uh, of course, I, I rather you know, just show you if you can. I don't know if the camera is going to pick this texture up. But that texture, guys, it's nothing short of amazing. The crispness, oh, it's going to take some serious, serious light hand on the airbrush so that I don't, you know, muck this up. You know, seats. They have this wonderful texture, like leather, your used leather, just, just amazing, just amazing. The detail of this is just amazing. I know I'm repeating myself a lot, guys, but trust me, you guys, you want this kit. Oh boy. No, seriously? Oh. Okay, guys, um, I hadn't noticed this. So here's the muzzle brake for the gun. Check this detail out. Let's see if I can make it focus. Come on, focus. Oh, I hope this is focusing. This is amazing. I believe this should, this probably is slide molding because it's, it's so good. All you need to do is a very small amount of cleanup and if you have a really really firm hand and very fine drill bit you can you know punch the, the, the holes because they're really lightly closed. It's just you just need to really gently open those holes and you have this this wonderful muzzle brake almost as good as the metal version in, in, you know, in the barrels that we buy sometimes. So I'm really happy with this. Now, let's see. It's not, it's not too many sprues. It's indeed not too many parts. But it is very nice. These are the handguns that will be probably placed on top of the vehicle. And I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of these um, guns that come with with the with these kits. But one of the things I'm absolutely baffled by is because I've never seen this, or at least not in this version. I have older Dragon kits that have you know worst or lesser or less good of a of a guns and all that. So I, I want to show you guys, first of all, the ammunition. It's extremely crisp. The guns themselves have some wood tech, well, wood texture I wouldn't call it, but they have a difference in texture between wood and metal, which is amazing. At this scale, it is amazing. Yeah, sort of a wood texture. Oh, and they are, <laughs> the barrels have, uh, you're not going to pick this up, but the barrels are molded open. Sorry, let me see if I can put this on. Let's see. Let's see. I hope this is picking this up. It's nothing short of amazing. Well, I'm, being re I'm repeating myself a lot, but I, I know you guys understand. You guys have a... Uh... Oh my god, another barrel? Wow, that's different. Once again, slide molded barrel. And extra gun components. 
This is a full gun here. Now, now I'm realizing it comes with two guns. Maybe it's it's one of the options. This one gun and the other has the other gun. But anyway, um, well, as usual, awesome detail. The barrel is something else. Slide moment. It's really good. Really, really good. Now it's the running gear, you know, all the common stuff. Um, bogies, wheels, something I don't know. What, what, what is it for? Maybe for the tires. Oh yeah, for the tires. So this is, this fills in. I think this fills in the tires inside or something like that. Or no, or maybe this is part of the rim, and then there's the inner rim, which should be this part here. Maybe this fits here, and this then this fits into the into the rubber, or should I say DS um, styrene from Dragon. Now, of course, once again, the amazing detail on these springs is just. So there's two of those. And now for the grand finale. So the chassis first. Looks really nice. Some cleanup, but really not 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 nothing special. Really, really very little cleanup. It is not warped. That's that's good. It's awesome. Yeah, it's perfect. So you know, once again. Very good detail all around. Now the upper part, or the back part, should I say, of the, of the truck, where the gun is going to sit, so the cab is going to be in front of it. Well, I'm not sure, right now I'm not sure if this side, or to this side, but I, I believe this is the side. Where the cab is going to go. So the cab is going to go to one side, then the gun is going to sit on this vehicle here. And wow, it does look amazing. Even the other side is, is uh, detailed. Awesome stuff. Texture once again. But you know, apart from the texture here, there's nothing really worth showing you in detail. But it's well built and it's not warped. It came, you know, perfectly aligned. Oh wait. Oh, it's slightly warped on this side. Really slightly. It's really easy to fix. Just all I have to do is just do this and make it stay like this. It's gonna work just fine. So it's very easy to, to do uh, to correct. So guys, this is it. This was the Dragon STKFZ 7-2, um, 37 centimeter flak 36 anti-aircraft gun. And I must say, I'm really surprised at the amazingness of this. I mean, it's, wow. And it's not too many parts. I really love this kit. I, I don't know anything about the vehicle itself, so I have no knowledge about the gun. So I'm not going to... Uh, try to say anything about it um, but uh, Andy maybe could uh, pitch in and, and help me with that Andy if you see this uh, if you want to provide some extra information please comment below um, and anyway it's just um, I want to thank my good friend Ugo Fernandes for this amazing gift that he gave me it's, it's something else I, I love it and um, probably 
well, probably not this year, but next year, beginning next year, I will most likely build this and um, show it off on, on my channel. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, keep modeling and uh, keep experimenting. Bye-bye.